Salam guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a recipe for some chicken quinoa pasta. Um, I've used chicken mince meat in this pasta and I've given it a very nice daisy touch with all the spices and things. So if you guys would like to know how I made this yummy dish, then please keep watching. So you will need one pound of chicken mince meat. This is completely plain. There's no kind of, um, I haven't put any onions or chilies in this as yet. So one pound of that, which I think is 500 grams. You'll also need some diced onions. I love using this particular one. I know I use this in all my videos. It just makes cooking a lot easier for me. So diced onions. You'll also need some pasta sauce. I'm using this Don Mayo one. You will need some pasta. Whichever shape you like. I like to make my pasta with these um, round twisty shapes. Which I believe I call that but I'm not sure. Um, you will need some mixed vegetables. I'm using frozen mixed vegetables. In here are peas, carrots and sweet corn. You will also need some grated cheese or um, sliced cheese or whatever you like to put on top of your pasta. This one is mature cheddar cheese and then my holy grail spices that i use in every one of my videos the cumin seeds also known as jeera dried coriander red chili flakes red chili powder and i'm using one frozen garlic and ginger cube i know a lot of you guys are thinking this is a must because in a lot of my videos i have said it and i'm sorry for not clarifying it you can Use a frozen one or you can use a fresh one. They both work as well. That's all we're going to need for this recipe. So to start off with you need to boil your pasta. I've got a medium sized pan with some water and about a teaspoon of oil on a fairly medium heat. This is on the back far gas and on the front gas I've got a pan with two to three tablespoons of oil in here. I'm going to use this pan to cook the minced meat. So first you start off with two handfuls of diced onions. So this is not a traditional way of making pasta. Let me just clarify that before I even start this recipe. Um, this is my take on pasta. So I like my lasagna one. This is a very desi version of pasta. I know a lot of you guys might have heart attack when you see the spices or you might be like oh my god since when did pasta look like that or taste like that I assure you it does look like pasta I'm just over exaggerating but um, when would you put that much spices in pasta because pasta is generally quite bland it literally just has I think black pepper and things for garnishing and oregano and spices like that but me being me and uh, me being desi and pakistani for all those guys who are wondering what nationality i mean ethnicity sorry i am i'm british um yeah off track man but um yeah so i like to add desi touch to every kind of recipe of mine it just makes it more easier for people in my family to eat it and stuff like that uh, but yeah, this is just a basic take on pasta. So I'm going to carry on with the recipe now. We want to stir the onions until they're quite brown. Not too brown. We don't want to burn them. So now I'm going to talk in Hindi and Urdu. Many people have requested me to talk in Hindi and Urdu. So that's for those people. So I'm just... अभी थोड़े से ब्राउन हो गए मेरे अनियंस तो इसमें अब मैं मिंस मीट डालूंगी यानी कीमा तो वो अब अब मैंने डाला है और मैं मिक्स करूंगी ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस हु डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई जस्ट सेड देयर बिकॉज़ माय अनियंस हैव नाउ स्लाइटली ब्राउन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ऐड इन माय मिंस मीट एंड गिव दैट गुड स्टर एंड देन स्ट्रेट अवे ऑल वी गोइंग टू डू इज ऐड इन वन फ्रोजन गार्लिक एंड जिंजर क्यूब you can use fresh garlic and ginger, powdered garlic and ginger. You just need garlic and ginger basically. So now that 
see um, garlic and ginger cube has started to melt and you can see the mincemeat is like changing colour and texture we're going to add in the spices my gas is on a low heat for all of you guys who are wondering it's been on a low heat ever since we started so half a teaspoon of red chilli powder goes in half a heaped teaspoon, teaspoon sorry, of cumin seeds a quarter of a teaspoon of dried coriander this is also known as sukkataniya for all of you desi people that are wondering what dried coriander is and then half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes so I'm just going to mix in the spices on a medium heat there's nothing worse than spices not being cooked you can actually taste them raw so that's we don't want that to happen give that a good mix go back two to three minutes so my water has boiled and I'm just going to add in all of the pasta Guys, so we left the EU. They will come out. So the pasta is not from here. It is from Italy. We are not part of the EU anymore. So they don't want to come out. Are you recording this? <laughs> That's my sister, guys. You're clearly upset that we've left the EU. And hence, she's taking frustration out on the pasta. But this clip was just to show you guys the struggle of being a YouTuber. Oh, she's just showing that it's from Italy. Um, the struggle of being a YouTuber, things may, sometimes, you know, small small things like this really make me laugh. And um, let me know if you guys would like to see bloopers at the end of the video. Um, and we just won't cut them out because we do cut out quite some funny things. We do have a bit of a laugh in the kitchen. So at this point you can see the mincemeat is uh, browning slightly. It's shrunk a lot. So I'm just going to add in the frozen vegetables. I'm going to say this is about two handfuls of frozen vegetables. You can add in fresh, you can substitute it with anything you like. If that's, for example, if you just want sweet corn, if you just want peas. Don't leave it plain though because it just doesn't taste nice. It's nice for the pasta to have a bit of um, a crunch with vegetables and things like that give that a good stir it's still on medium heat my gas i'm going to stir this for about four to five minutes so you can see after i mixed it for about three to four minutes the mince meat is leaving water which you can see on the far side of the screen there uh, so what we want to do is we want to mix this until all the water has gone so pull your heat up to a high heat and carry on mixing this until the water has evaporated it's basically the same way i make mincemeat for certain dishes like pasta lasagna and things like that all the time i do uh, change up the quantities of the spices and add vegetables but i've done a lasagna recipe before and i know a lot of you guys really liked it so i'm going to link that down below for you guys if you haven't checked it out already and uh, i cannot emphasize enough Please, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, do subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And it also, you know, makes me realise how much people are appreciating my work. Because the whole, like, 71 of you or how much there is at the moment are likely a family to me. You literally watch my videos all the time. You're active on social media. A lot of you comment frequently on my videos. So it's cool to know that we're in this game together. See, I'm not a professional at cooking. Before this, I didn't really know how to cook. I just experiment on camera and I take you guys on the journey of experimenting with me. It's really important to experiment when it comes to food and don't feel scared if it didn't turn out the right way. Because next time you can always say, oh gosh, I added a bit extra salt last time. I'll just add a bit less next time. So don't feel experimented. Don't feel I'm scared of experimenting. It's fun and it's uh, trust me, it's the best feeling when you know you can cook. So enough of the bubbling. Uh, as you can see, the water is evaporating, but it's not. It's not quite done. So I'm gonna give that a, cup, a bit a stir for like a minute or so, and then I'm gonna add in the sauce. It also smells lovely in the kitchen because I'm cooking some wings in the oven, 
Um, I'm using this marination. This is a barbecue marination. Um, I was going to film a video but it's just basically as simple as following the instructions on a packet. And I've got about 10 of these package packets, no joke, like on backup. Um, it's by the company Meatless. The gold chilli seasoning I used last time was also by this company. If you haven't seen that video also where I made chicken popcorn, ghost chili one, and then I'll link that down below. But this is like the best marination and it has all the instructions on the back on how to use it. But I got this from Tesco. It was in the seasoning aisle and it's on offer now. This and the um, ghost chili one, they've got a Chinese one as well for 49p. Um, if you can't find it, what I'll do is I'll try and link that down below for you. But it's currently 49p, so it's bloody bargain. So if I were you, pick this up because this tastes amazing. It gives you that really nice barbecue taste. So I just. So the mince meat has. Um, it's cooked, all the water has evaporated. So I'm going to add in the whole jar of pasta sauce. I don't like that sound. In goes the pasta sauce, give it a good mix, coat all the mincemeat thoroughly. You can see at the same time at the back my pasta is bubbling away. It's been about 5 to 6 minutes so that pasta actually should be done. This um, mince meat on the gas on a low heat, put the lid on top, let it simmer whilst we check on the pasta and drain the pasta out. So guys, I left the mince meat on simmer for about two minutes and my pasta was done. So I drained it out and then added it into the mince meat and now I'm just giving it a stir. The good thing about this recipe is that you just stir everything together. You don't have to, you don't have to serve the uh, minced meat and the pasta separate. If you guys would like to do that, then of course you can separate it and things like that and serve it. But that is the pasta basically done. So I'm just going to grate some cheese and put it in a nice dish and serve it. So guys, once you've finished making the pasta and serving it it should look like this i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't please don't forget to subscribe and if you like more recipes like this where i add my own desi touch to certain non-desi dishes i'm gonna give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye